is it possible to have makeup that looks good on just about every woman out there? I think I found some fantastic products that work so well for so many different women, and I'm going to share those with you in this video today. I'm happy to have you here, excited to show you these products, but I'm really excited to be able to be doing this video in a collaboration with Kimberly from Pretty Over 50. Kimberly burst onto the YouTube scene just a couple of years ago, and she has taken the mature beauty community by storm. She has a great personality. She's fun. She's gorgeous inside and out, but I really feel like she also has an eye for what the mature woman needs thinks and feels at this age. Sometimes we will be watching each other's videos and it's like, oh my gosh, she's thinking what I'm thinking. And so we've become really good friends here on YouTube and I think she's just fantastic. Kimberly's channel covers everything from makeup to skincare to health and diet and fashion. She just has such a well-rounded channel and I love watching her videos. I, of course, will leave all of the information about her channel Channel and her video about makeup for that looks great on every woman that's over 50 down below in the description box so that you can go check her out. And also, if you are here from Kimberly's channel, I want to say welcome to you. I'm so glad you're, that you're here. My name is Melissa and I do all kinds of makeup videos. I do tutorials and I also do a lot of reviews and I really gear those toward the mature woman that has different concerns than a 23 year old would. I'm 53 not 23 so let's go with that and i really hope that you do love the content today in the video and that you do decide to subscribe if you're one of my og subscribers i love you to pieces and you know i do and i'm so glad that you're here and then very quickly to pan you out again i like to show what i'm wearing for the day because i always get asked this is such a nice top for going into spring and summer this is a purple top that is a very light knit top so it's very thin it has kind of a flat fluttery sleeve sleeve it had a fluttery sleeve it has a fluttery sleeve that i like very much i love the neckline of it again it is the cross neckline and it has a little bit of a keyhole right here and it has a really fun neckline instead of just a regular everyday t-shirt it kind of dresses it up it does come up to an umpire waist right here i'll throw a picture so that you can see and so you know i wear a large and it just hangs perfectly on my body and i really like it and it just is one that is extremely comfortable and then i do always love to show you my earrings and my jewelry this one is so fun it's a silver kind of a spiral going down and then it has some swarkovsky i think they are crystals that go down in there um, but they're beautiful crystals that are inside of the swirl there and then also my necklace this actually i think was a piece of two or three different necklaces that i bought off of amazon and i just wore it singly and it has just a little drop right there of silver and i just think it goes well with a lot of different things because it's such a simple necklace when i say that phrase this makeup looks good on every woman over 50 i have a little disclaimer because obviously not all makeup looks good on all women. However, these are some of my tried and trues. This is not new makeup except for one thing that I think that you're going to really like, but this is makeup that for years I have used and I have loved. So let's start off with a really, really good primer, and that is the NYX Marshmallow Primer. This primer is such a close dupe to the Tatcha Silk Canvas that I've so many times wanted to put it in a dupes video for that, but I've just finally gotten to the, the point to where I'm like, you know, Tatcha kind of is in its own category, but boy, the NYX Marshmallow Primer is so much like it. So it has this feel of being very hydrating, very smoothing, sinks into the skin very, very quickly, but it just makes your skin feel silky. The difference between this one and the Tatcha one is the Tatcha one doesn't have a strong of a fragrance. This one does have that vanilla marshmallowy smell to it. So if you are adverse to fragrances, you might want to steer clear. But for me, this perfects my skin and gets it ready for foundation and then makes the foundation last longer. It's just a really great 
primer that I think just about any woman can wear. And I have loved it. This is my second bottle of it, by the way. There are some items that you come across and you're like, ooh, I think everybody would love this. And that's this Kosas right here. This is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is one of my very favorite tried and true concealers. This is the concealer that made me go from not wearing any concealer ever to coming back to concealer and absolutely loving it. The texture of this is fantastic. And the great thing about this is we've got skin loving benefits inside this concealer. So it's got not only hyaluronic acids, but it's got peptides and different ingredients in there that really are good for your under eyes. So while you're wearing it during the day, you're not just concealing up all that darkness and smoothing out that skin, you're also getting a skin treatment. And the other wonderful thing about it is it makes my under eyes look so smooth. And I don't have it settle. Of course, I do set it with a little bit of powder because anybody that doesn't is going to have a little bit of creasing and a little bit of settling into those lines. Let's get real with what we have to deal with, right? But this concealer, it's just really easy. It, it takes so little, so very little to cover. And then it just works around your skin and just creates just perfection. I will put it a little bit on, let it set, and then go in with a dampened beauty blender and just buff it out. And it just seems to work so, so well for me. I cannot say enough good about it. And I think I've shown this on my channel so many times and you guys are going, yes, we know, yes, we know. Now I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes in this video, but what I do have that I haven't shown in a really long time is a face palette. This is the Smashbox Cali Contour Face Palette. This is one of the nicest palettes that I've ever owned. This is a six pan palette. You can tell that I've already hit pan right here on the contour bronzer shade. It has a nice smear in it. It's a good size. It's thinner so it can go in your purse and all of these colors you can actually not only do a face out or a face look or cheeks out of but you can also do your eyes out of here now it has the blush that is over here it has two highlighters it has like a banana type setting powder and then it has these two this one more of a contour and then this one more of a bronzer color this is a lighter bronzer it has a lot of warmth and depth in it. I do like it, uh, but it sometimes can get a little bit too warm for me. So I will use that sometimes on my eyes. This is a beautiful blush. It's just kind of a neutral peach color that can be sheared out if you need it to, or it can be built up if you have deeper skin. Now, for me, the star of the show is this product over here, obviously. This is the one that I use as a contour, and I think that this is a fantastic contour product. It's very muddy. And when, what I mean by that is I love for contour to not look like bronzer or not look orange. I like it to be a little bit more on the red side or I like it to be that kind of grayish side and that's what that is. And then of course these two colors right here, there is a light colored highlighter and then there is kind of a deeper kind of a goldish highlighter in there which goes really pretty actually almost looks copper on screen but it really is goldish and then this one is kind of just a champagne color this is a wonderful multitasking palette that you can use just about anywhere on your face. And it's one of those ones that I think that is a really great addition to any woman's makeup arsenal. And I have loved having it. I think I've had it for two or three years. All right, let's talk about those eyeshadow palettes that I was saying would be good for every woman. This is the newest product that is in this video. And this is the new ColourPop It's a Mood Palette. It is one of their newer ones. This is so pretty. And I feel like, the reason that this is so versatile is because you can do a neutral look in here. You can do a cool tone look in here. You can pop your color in here. You can have your mattes and you can have your shimmers. Now, I'm not one that goes for glitter. So there's two colors in here. Actually, there's three in here. This the, the third one has a little bit of glitter in it. These two are very chunky glitter, which I don't like at all. So I could have done without those. But the palette itself, 
with the purples, the teals, the greens, and then you have all of the warmer colors over here with the peaches and then the browns. And then you have this olive green over here that is so pretty. This palette is so versatile. I've done three looks out of it and I really feel like each time I was so happy with it. This is up to the standards of ColourPop. ColourPop has some of the most fun, beautiful metallics that I have ever used. They quickly became my favorite drugstore palettes and I just don't feel like anybody holds a candle to them. They just have this quality to them where they really have nailed the eyeshadow formula and I just love them. I really do love their formula. There's hardly any that I ever get that I'm not super happy with. I love their mattes. Their mattes blend impeccably and I also love their shimmers. They're just gorgeous and I really like that in these kinds of palettes, palettes, ColourPop looks at every woman. They look at the woman that needs deep colors and they look at the woman that needs very light colors. And that's why I think this one could go for any woman. Now, another palette that I feel like could go for any woman is the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. So many people went absolutely gaga over this when it came out. And the reason is very clear because this palette is is a basic neutral lover's dream. So if you like cooler, if you like neutral, if you like warm, you kind of have that all in this palette. And I really believe that that's what she was going for, was to really hook in the woman that loves neutrals, give them a lot of options and be able to try so many different things. This is the palette that I use today. It's just one of those ones that is just, she knew what she was doing. This is probably her best-selling palette so far. And the reason is, is because women love neutral so much. When you don't know what to do, when you're not feeling super creative, you just reach for your neutrals. And I wanna say, if you can't shell out that $65 for that palette, which I do feel like it is worth it, but this dupe from Alter Ego, which is the Shadow Kiss, this is a spot on dupe for that palette. So if you can't shell out the money for the Glam palette, I get it. And you really Really should try the Shadow Kiss palette. It's so close. You're talking maybe a slight difference in formula, but once you get it on your eyes, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. And I think you can see from that right there that they really are very, very identical to each other. And I use them both and feel like both of them give me the exact same look. So if you need to save your pennies, then definitely go for the Alter Ego one. So now to blushes, because this is some of my favorite products. There are so many blushes out there that I feel Feel like can go for any woman. There are literally probably thousands of blushes that work for everyone. But I picked out just one. Yes, I, I narrowed it down to one. Don't ask me how I did that today. But I narrowed it down to these from Flower Beauty. These are the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. And I absolutely love this formula. It is what I have on today. And I do feel like these are a very, very special formula. It's a gel formula. But most gel formulas that I have found in the past, they just disappear when you get them on your skin. They don't show up. They're not, they don't look like anything. Well, these don't. And I'm going to show you how they work across my hand. And then I'll see if I can take just a little bit and kind of, you know, spruce up those cheeks just a little bit. So the first one that you're going to see right here is a very cool toned, almost lilac looking color. I love it. It is so pretty. And that one is called Bubbly. And then the other one is a kind of a mauve toned look to it. And that one is called Cheeky. Cheeky is the newer one that they had come out very recently. And then Bubbly is one that I've had for years. I love this because I feel again, like so many women can wear this and it not be a problem for them. Sometimes when you have a powder blush, again, it can show up texture. Sure. But when you're dealing with a liquid or you're dealing with something that is creamy, it is so much easier to be able to use that across your cheeks. So I'm just going to just pop just a tiny bit on here, a little bit more. And I mix the two of these together. Both of mine were cool toned, but you can really get into the ones that are warm toned if you like that better. They have a bunch of them and they're just so 
pretty. I love the look of them. I love these two colors. Again, very, very cool tone if you're somebody that likes cool tones, but she does have a lot of them that are more on the warmer side. Also, mascara is one of those ones that I feel like is that fine line for so many women. Either it works for a lot of women and it doesn't work for a few, or it works for very few women and most women hate it. The Maybelline Sky High is one of those formulas that I feel like has been around and uh, just so many love it. Now, I almost said everybody. So many love it. But I feel like it can look so pretty on so many women. Now, I have lashes that are a little bit longer because I do use an eyelash growth formula, which will be linked below. That's a six-month supply when you look at the price, by the way. But this mascara gives me everything I need to make my lashes that are a little bit sparse, a little bit longer because of the growth formula, but they're not as voluminous as I want them to be. But this makes, the, makes me feel like it hits every single little eyelash coats everyone it doesn't clump together and it just really lengthens them for me to get my best looking eyelashes possible the wand itself is a plastic bristle brush or a silicone brush and it has um, a very unassuming look to it it tapers down very small the barbs on it or the little spikes on it are not very long i like that because i do have smaller eyes and as most of you know i do have a disability where i shake so if i accidentally shake a little bit too much which is good for the wiggle you know that you do when you got at the base there but it ain't so good when you go and poke the inside of your eye so if i accidentally wiggle too much right there on the inner corner as i'm trying to catch those little lashes it's not so big that it's going to make a mess everywhere so i do like the size of the brush very much but the formula in here is great it's it's not making them look clumpy or it's not making them look like spider legs. It's just giving more length, a little bit more volume. This has been such a good mascara ever since it came out several years ago. And again, I do feel like just about every woman loves this and can wear this. I bet that if I were to open your makeup drawer right now or your purse, there would be a dozen to three dozen different lippy products in there. We all love lipstick. We love lip liners and lip glosses. Why is that? I think it's because we just love the thought of having our lips look juicy and pretty, but also it's not very expensive for it. So it's something that we can grab if we want to. I want to show you a lip liner that works so well for me and this is a neutral color it's why i chose it i chose it because the formula is great i also love by the way this is the rimmel full color lip liner and this one um they're called exaggerate full color lip liners excuse me it's also an automatic pencil so it turns up no sharpening love that it has kind of a different type of a little tip too it's angled and so it almost continues to get sharpened as it comes out because you can use this end that seems a little bit sharper if you want to or you can use the other end and fill in quite easily i really love this this one is in addiction i love how this is a neutral color i love how it glides on i love how it stays during the day that you can fill your lips in with it completely or you can just do your liner it is a great formula not too stiff and not too thin or gel like like as well it's just a perfect formula and a perfect color in this one which is again addiction i also chose three lipsticks because of their neutral look the first one is romantic rose from maybelline i also feel like this is a very neutral rose color if you're not somebody that likes rose colors you may like peaches or that kind of thing this one might not be for you this is a very satin almost creamy lipstick with a tiny bit of a sheen that I really like. There's another Maybelline one that I feel like if you like that little bit warmer of a nude color, this one is called Nude Lust. Maybelline is my, probably my all time, this and MAC, they're probably my all time favorite formulas ever. And that one looks so good with lip liner because then you're just getting that nude pout. And again, that one is creamy. And then I got this new one, which I'm actually wearing today, which is so pretty from MAC. This is Peach Blossom. And when I first saw that it said peach, I'm like, I don't wear peach, I wear pink. But then I swatched it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a pretty neutral peach color. And I just thought it was so gorgeous. And again, this is really 
really close to the same formula as the Maybelline. Now, the last one that I have to show you that's not close to those formulas is from Huda Beauty, and I actually did hear about this from Kimberly. These are just called her Creamy Lipsticks, and this one is called Angel. And Angel is kind of a, again, that very beautiful cross between peach and pink. So these colors, I feel like any woman can wear these colors. If you're darker, obviously you're going to need to reach for something darker, but if you're anywhere from very fair or very pale, like I said in my last video, I'm almost see-through. I'm so pale. So these work great for me, but if you are somebody that is medium to medium tan, you can even wear these as nude colors and they would look great. Now, lip gloss, I adore lip gloss. You already all know this, but my pick for being a neutral lip gloss that any woman could wear would be from the NYX Butter Gloss line. Tiramisu is one of those colors. I think I heard about this from Lisa Lisa D years and years ago. She wears this constantly. And even though I feel like it has that beautiful rose in it, it still has that neutral in it that is so pretty. I'm actually going to pop just a little bit of this one on for you. Such a pretty color. I love it. I love the formula of this one. It wears for a really long time for a gloss, which I love. There's a slight vanilla fragrance to these, but nothing really overpowering. And then the last lip gloss that I have to show you is the Keep It Full from Milani. This is one of my favorite formulas as well, but if you don't like that cooling effect that they give. You might not like this one, although I feel like this one is so much less than the buxom ones. It still does have that cooling effect, but what I love about this one is, yes, it is a neutral color, but it's a champagne color that goes over top of just about any gloss that you, or any lipstick that you wear, or lip liner that you wear, and it just makes your pout look huge. I love the color of this one. It's absolutely beautiful. And to have an absolutely nude look, you could do the liner with the nude Lust from Maybelline and then the champagne from Milani. And oh my goodness, you would have the most beautiful looking nude lip. I just, I love that combination. It's so pretty. And I think that is my very last product in this video. I hope that you did enjoy it. Don't forget to go over and say hello to my very dear friend, Kimberly, and show her all kinds of love if you would. And again, if you are new, don't forget to say hello to me in the comment section. I always love to interact with everybody. It just is a part of the joy that I get from having a YouTube channel. So thank you all so very much for being with me today and spending a moment. And I hope that you'll come back to my next video. We'll meet here and we'll visit again very, very soon. I love you much. Goodbye, my friends.